All right, to our forecast now, Mike Taylor joining us. And Mike, can we get more than 24 hours without rain, or is that too much to ask at this point? <laughs> Uh, it might be too much to ask, my friend, unfortunately. But hey, it's just going to be spring finally behaving more like spring. Hate to bring up old stuff, but two weeks ago, we were threatening a different type of record where we were dealing with record-breaking cold. Now we might be able to break some warm records, and it's all going to happen over the next couple of days. So feeling more like summer, uh, the muggy meter is going to climb. Not so much for today, but tomorrow you'll feel the difference when you step outside. And that increased moisture... It does produce the opportunity for us to see some rain or some storms. I don't think either day will be a washout, but the ingredients will be in play or in place for us to pick up a little bit of rain and maybe some storms. And that same unsettled pattern will stay with us beyond your Memorial Day holiday. Your almanac today, not too bad. 70 degrees for the high so far, 58 for this morning. Closer to average, but just shy of it so far at 72 degrees. And just looking at our current conditions, we're at 70. Feels like that because the humidity, it's, let's just say it's tameable right now. Uh, winds from the southeast at 7 miles per hour. And for the rest of this evening, anytime we have a nice night, I like to call them patio nights, we'll have one for this evening. Temperatures in the 70s will turn partly cloudy. And then for tonight, you'll notice that temperatures will stay fairly mild. I believe we're going to hold pretty close to the 60s. That's the presence of the moisture increasing. That's why there's a slight chance of picking up some rain, maybe a storm for tonight. And we can do that all over again into the day tomorrow. All because of this system you see here spinning through northern Illinois. It's sending uh, at least a batch of rain and some storms in our direction. That's going to be migrating towards southeastern lower Michigan during the overnight hours. And I'm thinking the leftovers will be here for your Sunday morning. So Sunday could definitely start off with a few chances of seeing some storms. And the thunderstorm cookbook here shows that we'll have at least some of all the ingredients needed to produce some storms, not only for Sunday, but also for Monday. So that's why they're in the forecast. 84 degrees will be your high temp, starting off with a slight chance of rain in the 60s for Sunday and then for Memorial Day. We'll call it a carbon copy, uh, just slightly warmer. So keep your eyes to the sky and take us with you with our seven app. You can also get the forecasts. And also there's a radar there that you can control and it'll come in handy if you're going to be grilling outside over the next couple of days. But as you can see, that's going to be just the name of the forecast game here. Added, adding the humidity gives us the chances of showers and also storms over the next couple of days. Yeah, April was rough, so I'm...